lot of us find ourselves trapped inside lately and have a lot of time to work on our tanks, as well as other projects. I happen to be one of them. This is the fourth installment of the Do-It-Yourself Aquascape series, and in this episode I will be building a few pieces created with plexiglass rods. I've included a link in the description below. I start off with a piece of Stax rock I have selected out of the bunch that I will use for this project. I will eventually be adding 5 rods to this piece. Since the rods have a flat end and I want to angle the rod, I need to sand the bottom. Now that the rod has an angled base, I need to add another angle here. I mark where I would like a bend, and with the lighter, I melt the rod on the mark, being careful not to catch the rod on fire. And now the rod is very easy to bend at any angle I desire. Once the rod cools, I cut off and sand the other end to the angle I desire. One rod is done, so I move on to the other rods needed for the project. I use a bunch of different adhesives. I've included a link in the description below. I also like to use CA Glue Accelerator. It really helps to set the glue faster. I apply glue to the rock, insert the rod, and spray a few times on the connection. With three rods connected, this is what the piece currently looks like. I use ABS plastic for a lot of my projects. It's easy to source, reef safe, easy to cut, and inexpensive. I draw templates cut it out with scissors, and have the first few ledges to be applied to the rods. I use a combination of sand and leftover debris from breaking rocks into smaller pieces. After a few coats, this is what the piece looks like. Note that the ends of the rod are not coated.
Notice I have added a new piece. That's the great thing about building your own. You can add or delete at any time. I add superglue to all of the rod ends and install the ledges. I didn't like the height of one of the ledges, so I added a small piece of acrylic to give it a bit more height. Now that the rods are coated well, it's time to add debris to the bottom of the ledges. To me this piece was missing something, so I added another rod and ledge. I think this piece came out well. With the different heights and depth it's going to showcase some of my rare SPS colonies and give them a whole different look. Now that this piece is finished, it's a great time to start on another and make the new piece look like it's connected to the other without actually touching. I'll create another episode when I finish the other piece. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Not only does it help me understand what content I should focus on, but know what content you actually want to watch. And if you have done all of that, join in on the discussion below. I would like to know what you think. Happy reefing and stay safe.